How you doing? I'm Louis Camino with Enviroscape LA. We're here in Southern California at our Enviroscape headquarters. We've done many of a YouTube video uh, at this particular property. Just want to give you a quick one. We just got done with our second El Nino storm. We're going to have two more next week. So just a quick walkthrough on the functions of a rainwater harvesting unit. What it takes to make it functional. Uh, this is for all the contractors, do-it-yourselfers out there. It may go a little bit quick, but you can always research us at EnviroscapeLA.com. Start with square one. The rainwater falls, it hits the roof line. It will then collect in those gutters up there. We do have a filter mesh fitting up there, something to keep kind of debris out. If we follow that pipe, it leads to our rainwater barrel. Now, plenty of people have these. It's, uh, you can get them at the local home improvement store. People even use trash cans. Great idea, holds 50 gallons. 50 gallons of water. Now, what if you want more? Now what? Well, at Enviroscape LA, we want to harvest as much rainwater as possible. There's an overflow pipe coming out of the back of this bad boy. So it will hold the 50 gallons. When it tops off at 50, it will then send water down underneath through this channel. And that pipe actually ends up right about here. Now, I know what you're thinking. Well, it's just going underground. Well, it's going underneath the surface here, but what is underneath here? We've converted an existing swimming pool into a rainwater harvesting unit. So there is a membrane, a waterproof liner that is underneath all this. Inside that liner is housed these eco rain tanks. Now these are rated to hold the weight of a car. We actually install these underneath driveways. There is a series of these guys underneath here. They are then wrapped in a geotextile back filled with about 12 inches of soil. And in that case, we now have a watertight unit that will accept water from above. So that pipe that discharges from the roof and any water that lands in this, what seems like just a normal patio, will end up in our rainwater harvesting unit. It should be noted that this beautiful flagstone here, if we look at the joints, this is not spec mix in between here, it is not mortar. This is recycled ground up car tires that is 100% permeable. Water hits that, goes right through. It is then contained in this unit here, which holds approximately, I, I believe it was uh, 5,000 gallons. I think we topped out about this entire unit here. Okay, so now that the water is here, how do we get it out? What are we gonna do with that water, right? Are we gonna do an old fashioned well, a hand pump kind of system? Well, we try to automate everything over here at Enviroscape LA. If you look at this 24 inch corrugated pipe, standing vertically, this is our pump vault. Underneath there, we have several functions. One is, there's an Owasa pump in there, 3,500 gallons per hour, that is actually turning that waterfall over there. We always need to aerate this water. If we let water stand for too long, it will get kind of stinky and smelly. So that water you're looking at, that fell out of the sky about 24 hours ago. And we are constantly recycling that water. So here in our property at Enviroscape headquarters, we always are able to look at rainwater. We just take a look at our waterfall. The other series of pipes here, we have a foot valve that is installed in here. We talked about how we're going to get the water out of here. Well, there's a foot valve that is connected to an external pump on that side over there. We'll take a walk over there. <clears throat> so if we look here, we have a Pro Eco pump in here. There's attached to that foot valve that is inside that vault. So when we tell it to, meaning when we use this water for our irrigation purposes, it will click on this, this particular pump, it will draw water out of that well, so to speak, or rainwater harvesting unit, and feed our irrigation valves. Now, what kind of irrigation valves are we using? Well, if you look at it, we have a low flow valve made by Rainbird Irrigation. We only use the Rainbird copper shield drip tubing for our purposes. It is the best tubing that is out there. It is sustainable meaning we don't need any herbicides to be blown through there. It's uh, going to last you a really, really long time, and it's just the best product that's out there. With drip irrigation, 100% of what's coming out of the tap or rainwater that we've stored throughout the year is being applied directly to the roots. Previously, we'd get that water, we'd throw it up in the air, and you kind of hope to land as best where uh, it's needed, but that's not always the case. So the, people always ask, well, this rainwater, what are you doing with it? About nine months out of the year, which is pretty darn good, this property here at Enviroscape Headquarters is irrigated using rainwater. Now, it doesn't get 
any better than that, I heard a man once say. And I think that's a fabulous quote. Uh, we're always trying to find things to do in a sustainable way. We're doing our little part. Now this is something that each homeowner could do on their own. It could start out small with a simple rain barrel and it could then grow from there. So just another tip on how Enviroscape LA is doing things here in the South Bay and Southern uh, California, Los Angeles area. Uh, more information checks out on the web, enviroscapela.com. When you think sustainability, think Enviroscape LA.